Hey guys, welcome to Just Brilliant. This show where I come and sit down at a plastic table with a blanket over the top because I don't like the way it looks without the blanket and I don't have another tablecloth to use. And talk about ideas, things I see online, things that come to my head and things that you send in that I think are brilliant. Today we're going to be talking about firecrackers. More specifically, firecracker guns. Now as you all are very much well aware of, firecrackers are pretty much tiny little sticks of dynamite. Dynamite? Did I just say dynamite? They're tiny little sticks of dynamite. They contain a small amount of an explosive charge, presumably something very similar to black powder, and have a fuse coming out leading to the aforesaid explosive charge, which you light. I probably shouldn't light that right now. And then explode, creating a loud bang, which freaks people out, which is awesome. And that's pretty much all they do. As we would expect them being an explosive, explosives work by suddenly creating a large amount of expanding gas that expands until it blows up whatever container it is in. In this case, these little firecrackers are inside this like roll of paper with little clay plugs on either side. These are standard firecrackers. M150s have the same sort of thing. Roll of paper with two plastic plugs on either side holding it all together. Now smart people have looked at these and gone, oh my word, expanding gas, it's gunpowder. If you stuck one of those in a barrel and stuck a projectile on the other end of it, when the firecracker went off, it would work in the same way as a real firearm. Expanding gas pushes the projectile out the barrel. Basically, you would have a firearm... <coughs> excuse me, I burped. ...with a fuse. Just to demonstrate that these things do indeed create a large amount of gas, let's do something real quick. Firecracker on the board. Gonna light it and place the cup over it. M150 now, under the board. Just a bigger firecracker, pretty much. On the board, not under it. That's quite a bit of power. Now, if all that energy was contained, now I think that would be enough power to throw a projectile a good ways, don't you think? Certainly as good as an air gun or, say, one of my hairspray guns. So this is how they're generally designed. You have a pipe which has a threaded screw cap with a hole in the back. You screw that on with the firecracker inside, with the fuse of the firecracker coming out through that hole in the end cap. You then stick your projectile down the barrel, light the back end, hold it up, and fire. Of course, you can go much more complicated, but the basic idea can be done very, very simply which is really cool. This is not a new idea on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter, which means there have been some guys who come up with some pretty cool designs, which I think you guys need to check out. This fellow built one that looks just like a pirate pistol, an old like flintlock musket pistol, which is really, really cool. And even though he doesn't have a shirt on. <laughs> This one doesn't have the screw cap fitting on the end, it's just a closed barrel open at the front, so you drop the firecracker down at the muzzle of the gun, then drop your projectile down after it. Super simple, right? Inventor719, who has a pretty sweet YouTube channel, does this, except his isn't really a gun, it's more like a little bitty cannon. Ooh. Yeah, that's cool. This one here's got a really sweet bolt-action breech system going on. I really like that. That's a cool design. I like that. This is an especially well-made one by Pebble Shooter. Like I said, links in the description down below. Yep, screw cap back thing. What I like about this is it has a plate on the back so that when it fires you don't have sparks and hot gas shooting out back towards your face through that ignition hole. That's pretty smart right there. And check this out with a giant firecracker, cracker, the crazy bald German from the Slingshot channel made one that fired arrows using his over barrel arrow shooting system. <laughs> That's really, really sweet. 
Links to all these videos are in the description down below. Please go watch them all. Like for real, go watch these videos. I'm only including these tiny little things because I want you to go watch these videos. Great, great ideas there. So as you can see, there's a lot of really cool designs and different um, ways of doing this, all of which utilizing the same super, super simple, easy principle. I think it's really cool. I'm planning on building one right around the 4th of July this year, so you can look forward to that video. So that's your just brilliant idea for the day. Go have fun, build something awesome. As always, even though this is the first time I'm telling you, you can submit your ideas or ideas you see you think I should do a video on to my email at justbrilliant.jake at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. Send me pictures, video, pretty much anything. If I like it, I'll make a video on it and uh, we'll credit you and everything. You got a YouTube channel, shout you out, whatnot. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Jake out.